friends! Welcome back to my channel. Gosh, it's already been a year since I started making videos again, and it feels like time is just flying by. Today, I wanted to share with you some of the last harvests from summer and show you the historically inspired gardening clothes I've been sewing. I'll also be showing some gorgeous footage from the Portland Japanese Garden when I visited my bosom buddy Ivy, aka the solo artist. Before we start, I quickly wanted to thank you guys for your support about starting my new gardening channel, Gom Gardens. I'll be sharing more information about that a little later. So without further ado, let's rewind back to September when the air was still warm and the days were filled with sunshine. It's hard to believe that the orchard looked this cheerful not too long ago. This was the first time my partner and I had ever grown corn before, and it was so exciting. It tasted sweet, fresh, and full of flavor. We were a little late harvesting our peaches, so some of the fruits already had holes from wasps and bees, but there was still plenty to pick. We've had quite the battle with our local wildlife this past year on our little farm. From bugs and bunnies to deer and even bears, we've learned that there's still so much more we need to do to have a better harvest next year. Right now, I'm working on my first video for Gome Gardens, which will show our first year trials, tribulations, and successes we've had on our farm. It's a bit of a beast to edit, not gonna lie, but I can't wait to show it to you. I love peaches. They're so pretty and have the most delicate flavor. Coffee, on the other hand, wasn't too sure about peaches at first. But after some careful deliberation, he said they were delicious. Looking at this footage reminds me that no matter how much rain falls, there are still brighter days ahead. My partner decided to make peach hand pies, and I couldn't have thought of a tastier way to enjoy them. I'm not very good at baking pies. I'm more of a cake person. But that doesn't mean I don't love to eat pie. To be perfectly clear, we are not filling these pies with salsa. <laughs> I just like to reuse my salsa containers, okay? These are just peach salsa empanadas. Didn't they turn out pretty? As you can probably tell, I've been gardening a lot lately, 
and I realized that I really wanted to make some gardening clothes that fit my historical cottagecore aesthetic. I searched for historical examples of gardening outfits and eventually settled on making a cycling ensemble instead. It seemed the most practical for the dirtier, rough jobs that I'm just not willing to do in a skirt. I used Truly Victorian's 1908 countryside blouse pattern for the top, and sleeves from their 1898 Eaton jacket pattern. I've been wanting a super voluminous leg of mutton sleeve for some time, and this sleeve pattern delivers. I highly recommend this combination if you're looking for that iconic 1890s shoulder silhouette. I love how easily the countryside blouse comes together. It's also extremely comfortable to wear. The waist ties at the back are so forgiving if you fluctuate in size throughout the year. I decided to hand finish the neckband collar to give a tidier look. I feel like it gives something to the blouse too. Maybe a handmade with love kind of feel? Despite its size, it was super simple to gather and ease the huge sleeve to fit into the blouse armhole. I kept most of the gathers at the top of the shoulder using the yoke edge as a marker. Lastly, I had to choose buttons. I was having the hardest time as my stash of buttons was surprisingly lacking. I thought maybe this dark brown would look nice, or these honey colored ones. Ultimately, I decided to order some faux tortoise shell ones. They look much more appropriate, don't you think? I didn't have time to film the making of my cycling pants, but they are Bikes and Bloomers pattern number six. They're a free downloadable pattern and I'll have the link in the description. The only change I made was to shorten the crotch measurement as it was super long.
believe it or not, I ended up using some old thrifted bed sheets for my bloomers. They had a small embroidered design on them that I used for the waistband and cuffs, and I just love how they turned out. The Portland Japanese Garden was absolutely gorgeous. Ivy and I decided to wear matching 1890 cycling outfits, and she graciously lent me one of her jackets to wear since it was forecast to rain. I found so much inspiration while we were here. Fall can be such a gloomy season, but here, everything was still green and lush, and the rain only enhanced the beauty. I especially love how Japanese gardens use moss instead of lawn. That's definitely something I want to incorporate in my garden. Even with the rain, we had a lovely time. And despite Ivy's reluctance towards gardening, I think it inspired her too. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye! You like peaches coffee? I love peaches mom. Nice stretch.